Welcome to TJMS, better known as Thomas Jefferson Middle School in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Let's Our do state it! is home to the Blue Devils, Tar Heels, Wolfpack, Demon Deacons, Krispy Kreme, Texas Pete, and Hurricanes. Yes, Hurricanes, not only in hockey, but also in weather, such as Harvey, Irma, and Maria. Which brings us for our solve for tomorrow issue. How can we protect our citizens from the dangers of flooding that commonly affect our state during these types of events? In our quest for a solution, we quickly discovered that hurricanes are not the primary cause for flooding. Severe thunderstorms in the summer months are the primary cause for flooding, not just for our state, but the entire nation. In fact, we learned through our research that everywhere in the U.S. is at risk. Summertime is especially a bad time since droughts can lead to the soil becoming hard and less able to allow water to penetrate, causing even more flooding than would normally occur. Another problem we found was that flooding represents the largest cause of death in the U.S. from naturally occurring weather events. On average, we discovered that 85 people a year in the U.S. are killed annually in flooding events, and almost two-thirds of these deaths are people trapped in their cars, deaths that can be stopped and prevented with a smart solution, a solution better known as the fast street gate. Introducing the Flood Alert Samsung Sensor Technology with Smart Flood Gates. These gates are designed to deploy automatically when water reaches an unsafe level on our street, six inches or more. They would then send a signal through our Wi-Fi connection to the emergency manager that the gate was deployed so the information could then be sent out through internet media sites such as Waze and ncdot.gov to warn people ahead of time of these issues and find alternate routes using GPS system. In this way, lives could be saved. After finding out this information and designing our gate, we asked our city's assistant fire chief, Tad Byram, what he thought of our idea. He came and talked to us about the risk and dangers of what our communities face with flooding, better known as urban flooding. He told us that his department rescues around 10 people a year from vehicles trapped in floodwaters. He also stated that water rescues are by far the most dangerous type of rescues they perform. So he is in support of anything we can do to prevent this situation. In addition, he supplied us with maps of our county with areas of roads that would commonly flood so we could plan where to place our system. We then met with the emergency director of our city, Michelle Brock, the floodplain programming manager, Matt Osborne, and Matt Washing, a civil engineer, and shared with our, our ideas and locations our community would felt would best be used for our FAST system. They listened and gave us positive feedback. In fact, they even said that they would share our idea and system with the NCDOT at their next monthly meeting so that other areas of our state could hear of our solution. We know we still have some work to do to finalize this concept, such as providing a cellular signal for the device and becoming a DOT-approved street device, but the fact remains clear. A fast street system like ours would save lives, and that's a solution everyone needs and should want for their community. Thank you for watching our video.